everyone, welcome to Photo Plays YouTube channel and welcome to Tuesdays with Tina. Today I'm super excited to share a last minute Valentine. We're going to squeeze one more Valentine card in here using the Cupid Sweetheart Cafe collection. I have the collection pack here. We're going to use some pattern papers from this. I have the stencil that has X's and O's on it and then I also have the stamp set that has a cute chocolate box along with the coordinating die set. So we're going to create a chocolate filled card. Let's start by doing a little bit of stenciling first. I'm going to stencil on some red cardstock. I had already put a light tack adhesive behind my stencil and I'm not sure how many rows I want of the X's and O's so I'm going to do three. I'm just going to center it on a piece of white cardstock here. I'll just tack this down and then I'm going to go, we're going to make a portrait style card so I'm not worried about um, the ends here. I'm mostly worried um, about the middle. I'm going to use a red ink and a blending tool. We're just going to pick up some ink and go over our X's and O's. Okay, I think we have all the X's and O's. And again, I'm not worried about the sides because we're making a portrait style card. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my stencil. I'm just going to wipe away some of this ink really quickly. And then we can do a little bit of reveal. So we have some X's and O's. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I'm going to use alcohol markers to color in my chocolate box. Let's take this out. It's a pretty large image, so I'm going to use my stamping positioner. I'm going to ink up my, my chocolate box with an alcohol marker friendly ink. I'm going to use a black ink today. So we will stamp this. And it just stamps lovely. The colors of markers that I'm going to be using today are pinks and reds and browns. I want to go ahead and hold these. If you want to pause and take note of all the colors, you can. But I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color, and when I'm done coloring, I will get you back. Thank you. 
all done, I'm gonna go ahead and take the coordinating dies and we will die cut out our image. Once my image is die cut out, I'm gonna take a white gel pen and just, I'm gonna add some little details to the chocolate. Maybe add some little sprinkles here and there and highlights. Okay, just a little bit of highlighting just really makes them pop. Now for the background of our card, I'm gonna bring in some pattern paper and I'm also going to be using a pennant die set here. We're going to, I want to create a banner. I'm going to cut out a banner with the Candy Crush pattern paper. I went ahead and die cut out my banner and I adhered it to a slightly larger banner I, I die cut out with vellum. I thought the vellum would soften it a little bit. And then I have a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. I went ahead and adhered that to my card base. This is almost looks like linen or distressed a little bit. This is from the Cupid Sweetheart Cafe 12 by 12 collection pattern paper too. And then I have a three quarter inch strip from that collection as well. I did decide to trim out one row of our stenciled X's and O's. And so we're ready to put our card together. I'm gonna to go ahead and take our banners and we're gonna adhere this to our card base. We'll place this right in the center. And I'm gonna do a little bit more stamping. I'm gonna bring in back our stamp set and there's a circle in here that you can add sentiments to. So I'm gonna take that circle, I'll put it on an acrylic block. I'm gonna stamp it with black ink. There's little hearts in here that you can color in. And I'm gonna stamp this and color in those little hearts just using um, one of my red markers. Now we're gonna stamp our sentiment from our stamp set. I, I chose, will you be mine? And I'm gonna use that same black ink for my sentiment. We'll stamp it right in the middle. I'm gonna take the coordinating die and we'll die cut this out. So my sentiment is done. I did die cut out a slightly larger circle to mat this stamp circle on us. So what we're gonna do is add adhesive, tack this down just so we have, I love layers. And so we're just gonna layer these together. Now I'm gonna take my candy box and I'm gonna create a fishtail banner with this pattern paper. I'm gonna trim this pattern paper down just a little bit. And I'm also gonna trim, I'm gonna make my fishtail banners a little bit narrow. I didn't wanna cover up too much of the, okay. This way our chocolate box is not obstructed. So let's go ahead and layer these two together. I'm gonna to use a little adhesive. We'll tack these two together. I just wanted a little bit of that stripe paper peeking out. I'll add my banners to the lower portion of my, my heart. And then I'll take my sentiment that says, will you be mine? I put foam squares behind it already. I'm just gonna remove the release paper. And this is gonna go over here. I think that's a good spot. Once I have my, I do want to pop my heart up, but I want this to go all the way to the edge. So I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to run, um, just trim away the excess from the XOXO banner, like so. I'm going to pick this up, flip this around. We're going to put some foam tape behind here. And I remove the release paper. And then with this straight edge, I'm going to line this up on my card base like so. Lovely. 
I'm gonna use my glossy accents and we're gonna go over a few of the chocolates to add a little bit of dimension. I went ahead and went all over. I went ahead and put glossy accents over all the chocolates. This way we have some shine and some dimension. Let me show you. Glossy accents will dry, um, you see that shine? And lastly, over the glossy accents, I'm going to bring in some clear glitter, just a little bit, just so it almost looks like sugar. I'm going to scoop it up with a piece of scratch paper. Let me zoom in. And this way it doesn't take away from the chocolates, but it adds like a little sugary effect. Okay, I'm going to tap away the excess. And we have some sparkly chocolates on our chocolate card today. And that will finish it off. I hope you have a fabulous Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.